My name is Maud, I'm a PhD student in finance at the Swiss Finance Institute HSC Lausanne. My name is Quentin Galea. I'm a researcher and lecturer with Enterprise for Society, producing weekly content from YouTube to TikTok. To popularize your research, you have to simplify the content, avoid scientific wording and come up with a very nice story that everyone can understand and everyone can relate to. If you're able to explain this to your grandma and she cares about the questions, that's a very good sign that this is something useful. Your research must pass the grandma test. When you are doing a presentation, people basically remember the beginning, the end and the high point in the middle. Start with the main thing you want to share. For example, what's new, why does it matter and why it should be done? Or what's your main message? Pack this at the beginning to be sure that the audience, even if they stay for 30 seconds, they get the message. It's good to have a catchy title or a nice introductory sentence. At the end, it's also good to have a take-home sentence or a tip to reward your audience. When you're presenting in front of an audience, when you lose the attention, they have to sit here until the end of your presentation. In social media, they can just swipe and watch something else. First, you have to write your story in your own words. Then you have to remove all the details that you didn't want to re remove at the beginning, but at the end it sounds better. Once you have your story, your text, rehearsing, rehearsing, you have to be careful because when you rehearse too much, then you sound like a robot and that's something to avoid at all costs. Either you are really spontaneous and natural, either you really know by heart every little detail and it feels natural, but being in between is really not recommended. Definitely LinkedIn, it's really a, a place where you can grow an audience, it's not too packed at the moment. The choice of the format depends on the platform and the target audience. For LinkedIn, what I witness is that's really text with a picture and that will work best. Documents where you have like small slides with content. Start now with whatever you have. Either you just write text, but you can also just use your mobile phone, which is what I'm still doing after a few years. Your first video will be your worst practice, and you will learn a ton. In the beginning on YouTube, I was preparing for hours for one longer video. Nowadays, it really takes me five minutes from scratch to setting things up, filming and doing the video editing on my phone to then post it uh, on Instagram or TikTok. Recently, I started to use more and more memes because that's a very powerful tool actually to catch the attention but also teach because there is this funny part and people tend to remember well because they can really connect with the memes that they know already. <laughs>